yeah viewers and subscribers you all come back again on this platform this is bvi channel one honestly i came across a video that got me thinking again you know because i've published a similar video concerning fight in the church i'm wondering what africans especially living in diaspora particularly in u.s have always continued to have booze bars for inside church make could i see another one as it happened no? Whoever hit Baba Baba don't hit nobody. Oh. Baba don't hit nobody. Oh. We are taking it. Okay. All right. Baba don't don't hold. Don't hold. Let him hit you first. Baba or my Williams, let him hit you first. Don't hold you. Don't hit. The cameras are running. Cameras are running. Cameras are running. Don't worry, cameras are running. Whoever hit first, whoever hit first, no, leave him there. He started his service. He started his service. No. Let him, Baba Omar Williams, don't go. No, he's not going. Madi day, Madi day, Madi day, Madi day, Madi day. No. Come, let him call the police. No, no. We might have. I'm going to. I'm going to. No, it's not getting out. Baba, Major. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if they are fighting for God or fighting for themselves. But whatsoever reason that we made make people, especially adults, not just adults, old adults, fight in church in the name of God. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> whether they are fighting for God though, or they are fighting for their interests. So, you know, but you know, the most concerning aspect of it is that we've not really seen Oyibo do this fight in the church. You know, I don't, I don't get it. And some people will say, ah, black people and their mentality fighting for another man religion or foreign religion, as they call it. But whatever the case, whether for traditional religion or African religion or Western religion or whichever way you can think of it, having adults fight in the church, even in the, <laughs> I saw the picture of a white man they kept there. <laughs> they call him Jesus, but that is not Jesus as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so that white man there that represents their own God, which they worship, uh, and the altar, he's there looking at them when, when they are fighting over him. And they will do the fighting and they make sure that they don't break that uh, picture on the frame. Yeah? <laughs> Africans make a get sense that is different between religion and faith spirituality got to do with your connection with your maker that is just the message i'm not here to make a mockery of whatever is seen but i'm here to bring this message to you because if i'm saying it i've been saying it but people are not listening people are not listening but with this as a point of reference i got to tell you the truth religion is man-made but your spirituality your spiritual connection with your god my people will call it your chi. It's not man-made. It's inherent in man. Oh yes. If you take a man now, burn a little child, put it, isolate that person completely, he will grow up looking for a spiritual connection with his chi. And I must tell our people that being spiritual is not being religious. So that's why 
we have so many vices, especially in Africa, where religion had become a merchandise, an economic sector of its own. Oh, yes. So when I see people fight over these things, I know what they are fighting for. So today, make a choice for yourself. I'm not saying you shouldn't go to church. No, people go to church. I too have started attending church services just as a social, um, spiritual upliftment. Let me just put it that way. A social, spiritual up upliftment. Having gathering with other people to, 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 to have that social, spiritual up upliftment where people can impact in your life spiritually and you as well. But being a Christian is a lifestyle. Then being spiritually connected with your maker, whether as a traditionalist or as a Christian or as a Muslim or as a Voodoo, whatever thing you associate yourself with, that to your direct contact with your maker, with your God. And I can tell you that the ultimate religion, the ultimate faith, and spirituality is love. Love is the ultimate. If you can love the next person, if you can do to others as you may deem to be done to yourself, we'll have a better world, ultimately. So, take a choice. Take a choice and take a stand. I'm just a voice. I just decided to relay this message as we are wrapping up this year. Please, Going forward 2023, <laughs> let us share love. Because you cannot love God that you've not seen. But you've seen God's image in humans. Take that love to them and impact in lives around you. That is the message. Bye bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. If this message inspires you, please share it. Bye bye. Thank you.